Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is an introduction for those who have never heard of um, a famous poet and author from Australia called C.J. Dennis. And uh, he wrote some amazing verses and uh, short stories. And uh, I'm just going to share a little bit of it now. This is a good book to get hold of, The Selected Verse of C.J. Dennis. Lots of books from his collections in there. He wrote a famous book called The Sentimental Bloke. And uh, I've got a, a copy here of extracts from that. It's called uh, Pickering's Salute to the Sentimental Bloke. Uh, that's probably who they called C.J. Dennis. Um, Pick Larry Pickering is a famous Australian cartoonist. And um, he had a really um, interesting old world way of using language. <laughs> And uh, in the back of this particular book, is it this one here, I think? There's a whole glossary of all the different words that are used in the poems, because unless you know some of them, you wouldn't know. A lot of them are very Australian. Probably a lot of them come from the old country. But, um, yeah, he was prolific. One of the um, books he wrote was a book called the, the, he was very keen on birds and bird watching and and had a property. And um, he uh, he did a lot. Um, uh, of, of this whole book called The Singing Garden, this book, and it's very rare, you can get it, but it's not, not cheap to buy secondhand. And it was all online at one stage, but I couldn't find it again. I think the people who put it online, their blog's gone to sleep, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you can get hold of that, I, I might read an extract from that in a minute, from The Singing Garden about birds. He had a way of talking about birds, which my late father-in-law did as well, and other writers have of talking about birds as actual people like you know, the male bird had a wife, um, wasn't a female, you know, it was, and, and they talk about in that sort of uh, vernacular, I suppose, of or or language of, of the animals, the birds are regarding each other as people, which they are really in their own right. So, um, yeah, there was also another famous book called Doreen, which uh, my uncle, my late uncle and auntie, Uncle Harry and Auntie Doreen, Uncle Harry had these books, that's where I got the one that the collected verse from and she was Doreen and Doreen was this famous lady that um uh I think it's Ginger Mick Ginger Mick who actually woos and uh, wins and there's lots of uh, verse about Doreen quite a remarkable lady I might find something in there but anyway I'm going to include it in the links below um when my son was at film school in Sydney back in 2005 they made a um a short film called Crooked Mick, which is based on some of the Ginger Mick stories by C.J. Dennis. And there's one at the, um, that starts off, and, and I'll put a link under there. Let's see if I can find it for you. Thirty four, The Circus, yeah, because when you look at that movie, you'll see that um, it starts off with this sort of scenery in the, in the, and, and my, uh, my, my son did a lot of the work. You'll see his name in the credits. It was put on by the Australian film, television and radio school in Sydney. Anyway, this is uh, some extract from a couple of, couple of um, verses from two pages here. The circus. Hey there, hoopla, the circus is in town. Have you seen the elephant? Have you seen the clown? Have you seen the dappled horse gallop round the ring? Have you seen the acrobats on the dizzy swing? Have you seen the tumbling men tumble up and down? Hoopla, hoopla, the circus is in town. Hey there, hoopla, here's the circus troupe. Here's the educated dog jumping through the hoop. See the lady blondin with the parasol and fan, the ladder upon the ladder and the Indian rubber man. See the joyful juggler and the boy who loops the loop. Hey there, hey there. Hey, 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 here's the circus troupe. There you go. That's called the circus. And if you uh, just listen to that again and watch the opening shots of this film that was made with real actors and some animation in it, my oh, son did a lot of the work on the animation in it. Um, uh, that that poem will come to mind. Here's another uh, a, a bit in the Ed, what was his name Edward Lear, I think, who wrote all those nonsense poems. Here's here's one in that sort of vein. This is called the Trianti, Trianti Wanting Gong Gongalope. 
is a very funny insect that you do not often spy, and it isn't quite a spider and it isn't quite a fly. It's something like a beetle and a little like a bee, but nothing like a woolly grub that climbs upon a tree. Its name is quite a hard one, but soon you'll, you'll learn it soon, I hope. So try, try, try anti wanty, try anti wanty gone go lope. It lives on weeds and wattle gum and has a funny face. Its appetite is hearty and its manner a disgrace. When first you come upon it, it will give you quite a scare, but when you look for it again, you'll find it isn't there. And unless you call it softly, it will stay away and mope. So try, try, try anti wanty, try anti wanty gong galope. It trembles if you tickle it or tread upon its toes. It's not an early riser, but it has a snubbish nose. If you sneer at it or scold it, it will scuttle off in shame. But it purrs and purrs quite proudly if you call it by its name and offer it some sandwiches of sealing wax and soap. So try. Try, try anti wanty, try anti wanty gong go galope. <laughs> but of course you haven't seen it, and I truthfully confess that I haven't seen it either, and I don't know its address. Well, there isn't such an insect, though there really might have been, if the trees and grass were purple and the sky was bottle green. It's just a little joke of mine, which you'll forgive, I hope. Oh, try, 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 try anti wanty, try anti wanty gong galope. There you go. Ah, oh, dear. Doreen. I'll just read a few verses from the opening part of this bit on Do Doreen. I wish ye meant it, Bill. Oh, owl me art. Went out to her that evening on the beach. I knew she weren't no ordinary tart, my little peach. I tell ya, square and all, me art stood still to hear her say, I wish ye'd meant it, Bill. To hear her voice, it's the gentle sort of tone, like soft dream music of some dago band, and me all out and old and in me own, her little hand, and how she blushed, oh strike it was divine, the way she raised her, shi raised her shining eyes to mine, her eyes soft in the moon, such boshter eyes, and when they sight a bloke, oh spare me days, he goes all loose inside, such glamour lies in her sweet gaze. It makes him all ashamed with what he's been to look into the eyes of my Doreen. So there you go. That's a little bit of an introduction. See if you can find some of those um, bird ones. Let's have a look in the back. There might be a, a bird one at the back here. The Lyre Tail. This is a, a poem from The Singing Garden. It's about lyre birds. Far in the forest depths I dwell, the master mimic, mimic of them all, to pour from out my secret dell, echo of many a bushland call, that over all the forest spills, echo of many a birdland note, when out about the timbered hills, sounds all that borrowed lore that fills my magic throat. I am the artist, songs to me from all this gay green land are sped, and when the wondrous camet canopy of my great fronded tail is spread a glorious veil at even's hush above my head i do my part then wren and robin finch and thrush all are re-echoed in a rush of perfect art here by my regal throne of state to serve me for a swift retreat the little runways radiate and when the tread of alien feet draws me near i vanish ever prone to quick alarm when aught offends that secret ritual of the throne. My songs are for my mate alone and favoured friends. I am the artist. None may find in all the world a match for me. Rare feathered loveliness combined with such enchanting minstrelsy in a land vocal with gay song. I choose whatever I may require. I wait, I listen all day long. Then to the music of a throng, I tune my lyre. There you go. It's from the sentimental bloke. Uh, I'm going to sign off here. So like if you like, subscribe if you wish. And I hope you enjoyed that. Look up that and particularly look up the link to the video of Crooked Mick. You'll really enjoy that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.